Hello everyone and welcome back to Hunty's Dollies. So I have another really cool doll to share with y'all today. And so I have a friend, a very good friend of mine. Her name is Janet. Hi Janet, shout out to Janet. She loves online estate sale auctions. And so anytime she's on there, she sees interesting dolls, she'll shoot me a text, say, hey, you want me to bid on this one? And I'm like, yes. Uh, so uh, I mentioned Janet before when I did a review on the That Girl Barbie. Uh, she also found that doll on one of these estate sale sites. Um, and she's actually been getting pretty good deals on these dolls. Very happy with the price she's been getting them at. So the, uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe like a week or so ago, she sent me a text and she was like, hey, here's this older, older, or you know, a doll, another Barbie or Midge, and do you want me to bid on her? And I said, yes, I want her, absolutely. And it is because it is the 1990 Wedding Day Midge doll. I have always loved this doll. And I'm also kind of obsessed with wedding bride dolls. Um, if you've watched my Maria Therese video, she's the bride Barbie from the Silkstone line. One of my favorite Silkstone dolls. And so I told Janet to jump on this doll. I have always loved this doll. I love this line. All the dolls look amazing in it. I just love the story they told between her and Alan. Uh, now, I do not have the other dolls in this line yet. I plan on getting them because I want to complete this collection. Uh, so right now we just have Midge to look at. So here is Midge Hadley on her wedding date, ready to walk down the aisle to, aisle to marry Alan Sherwood. So she's got gorgeous red hair. Um, Midge, in, when she first debuted in the 60s, she came in three hair colors like Barbie. It was kind of like a blonde, a brunette, and a red. But then as Midge went on, she was mostly a redhead throughout the 80s and 90s when they did her, when they uh, re-brought her out in, in those decades. So she's got the gorgeous red hair. She has the uh, diva face mold. Uh, in the 80s and 90s, Midge went back and forth between Steffi and Diva. I think after a while they just kept her with this face mold, uh, mostly in the 90s. So she has that, and of course she has the typical, you know, 80s, 90s body with the bent arms. And can we just talk about this dress a moment? This is a Playline doll, meant for children to play with. Look at this dress. This outer layer is beautiful. Look at that detail, the lace trim, and then the dress also just, it just, it's just amazing quality and detail. These sleeves are everything. The detail on, well, let me move her bouquet. I had her bouquet attached with, you know, one of these. <laughs> Look at the detail on that bodice. That bodice is amazing. They even went to the, to the detail of painting on, I hope it shows up, her wedding band. Here's her diamond engagement ring on this side. And then she just has uh, silver stud earrings here. And I mean, look at this veil and her little um, hat <laughs> uh, for the veil is, I mean, that's just amazing fabric, amazing detail. It's the same lace trim that's, it's very similar lace trim that's on the bottom of her dress. And I just, I just think this doll is so beautiful. I love her so much. Um, she came with the classic white Barbie pumps. Now this stand is not, she did not come in the stand. This is my stand I, I got off a of Timu. And then she has her little um, garter, garter, yeah, garter on. And then, um, so this dress is also supposed to, this skirt, the big skirt comes off. It attaches here in the back with the snap. And so the skirt comes off and there's a shorter dress underneath it. And then you put this little 
white and lavender polka dot bolero jacket on her and that's her going away outfit for when she and Alan leave the reception for their honeymoon, which I thought was a very fun detail. Now in this line, not only were there dolls, but there were also honeymoon fashion packs for Midge. I'm not sure if they did fashion packs for Alan. I think they just did honeymoon fashion packs for Midge. So Mid, there's fashion packs, of course, I'd like to get the fashion packs um, and maybe dress her in them. <laughs> That'd be fun. But um, I, I love this doll. I think this is one of the prettiest renditions of Midge they've ever done. I mean, she's just beautiful. Uh, the details are there. And she has a beautiful, you know, pink lip color blush. She's a blushing bride. And I love her eye color. I mean, look at the, look, just look at that face. And her eyes are like green and blue and her eye makeup is perfect. And that lip color and they really put the blush on her because she's the blushing bride. Oh, and also these sleeves just kind of pull off so you can put the jacket on. So, you know, in the 80s and 90s, Barbie loved to have her little outfits that can do look turn them to multiple looks, which I think is a fun detail. So that's the doll. She's so beautiful. I love her. Now let's take a look at her other accessory besides her little Blaro jacket and shoes and ring. And I mentioned this in the 80s rewind video I did a, a couple weeks ago. The dolls from the 80s and 90s came with actual fabric faux bouquets. And of course it has a ribbon on it, a very pretty pink ribbon. And I was saying how I wish prom night Barbie from the 80s rewind uh, doll line came with something like this instead of the hunk of plastic with painted flowers on it. But this bouquet is pretty, it's very pretty Roses, I guess. I think those are pink roses. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but I think those are pink roses. So that's a very pretty bouquet. Again, there's just a really pretty pink ribbon kind of attached to it, which it looks really pretty up against her dress. And then of course, just like a lot of the dolls from the uh, 80s and 90s, she came with this, well, mostly 90s. This was more of a 90s thing. She came with her, the signature Barbie shell looking at brush which I love these brushes. I have so many of them and I love them as much as I love the dolls. These are amazing brushes. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and talk about her box. So this is the front of the box and she did come with, you know, the usual pamphlet where they're showing off the other, other dolls from around this time. And she did come with this cardboard stand that you put together and she kind of stood on it like the stand I have, but I decided to leave it in one piece and uh, kind of keep it intact and just leave it in her box and put one up her box away. And then over here, you see her, what she looks like in her going away honeymoon outfit. And I like the, the lattice work they've done on the box. It's very late eighties, early nineties wedding, just awesomeness. <laughs> I love it. And then on the back of the box, you see the wedding party. Uh, there's Midge, her groom, Alan. Ken is the best man. Well, I think they call him just, yeah, best man. And then Barbie, they just call her a bridesmaid, but let's face it, she's the maid of honor. And then uh, this is one of the earlier renditions of Todd. This might be the first release of Todd. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments below. And then for the longest time, I thought this was Stacy, but actually her name is Kelly. She's Barbie's sister, I think. She's supposed to be Barbie's sister. And this is Kelly, the flower girl, and then Todd was the ring bearer. So, um, I mean, she looks like Stacy. Uh, this might have been maybe the first time they introduced another sister of Barbie. They were gonna call her Kelly, but decided to go with Stacy later on. I don't know. Um, but, um, I want all these dolls. Now, you can buy all these dolls individually. There was also a big gift set. They called it the, the bridal party or the wedding party gift set. Um, but you can also just buy the dolls individually. 
So eventually I want to get Ken, Alan, Barbie, and then the children. But these kids, uh, they come in a two pack. They never came separately. They always came together. So I really, I, I'm going to get all of them and complete the wedding party. <laughs> uh, so again, I love this line. I love that it even says beautiful bride up here. And again, this is from 1990. And so the box is, it says wedding day midge here, here. Also interesting to see the original price tags. Apparently originally at Walmart, she was $15. Then she got marked down to $4. <laughs> so some lucky person bought this doll new in box for $4. And the quality is incredible. Wow. If only there was a time machine, I would go back in time, buy all the, buy multiples of these dolls and uh, have all of them. But that is my review today on Wedding Day Midge. And uh, I'm so happy to have her in my collection. Again, Janet, thank you so much for looking out and feeding my Barbie addiction. Uh, keep up the good work. And I hope all of you enjoyed this review of Wedding Day Midge. And when I eventually get the other dolls in this line, of course, I will do unboxings, unboxing and reviews of them. I don't know when I'm gonna get them, but I hope to get all of them soon. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Go follow me on Instagram. That's where I post a lot of my updates for my channel. And I hope all of you have a wonderful day. And please, again, let me know in the comments if you have this doll, if you love this doll, if you want this doll, and let me know your thoughts about her. I hope all of you have a great day, a wonderful week, whatever day you're watching this. I hope it's going great. And I'll see you in the next video, dolls. Awesome, laters.